Okay, so this is called the psoas stretch on the ball. This is pretty much a different way just to get the hip flexors all stretched out. Um, it's less convenient to do. You can't do it at work as much as the other one. Um, but I think you get a better stretch with it. So what we're going to have her do, we're going to put this leg back right here. And she's not dragging the toe. I prefer to drag the toe. It does not matter. Uh, bring this foot out in front here. Bring this arm up as high as you can and reach behind you. And you want to use the other hand to support on the ball. Uh, she's using her elbow. That's fine as well. Uh, so you're going to get the stretch all throughout this front side right here. And I want you to contract the, the glute back here. By, by the law of reciprocal in inhibition, this is going to make it impossible for these hip flexors to fight this stretch. That's why it's so efficient. Okay, so uh, it, as an added bonus, what she can do, she's already doing it. She leans to the side over there. You can use that as well to get this as well as uh, any spasm in, in this back side right here on the right. Um, we're going to show you from a different angle now. So go ahead, go that way. So she's going to do the same thing. The foot's going to be back, legs in front, she's supporting herself, arms going back, and she's going to tilt to the side to get the added bonus stretch. Um, you want to hold this for about 8 to 10 seconds. You can do it throughout the day, especially during periods of when you're doing a lot of sitting, such as at work. You can do it every 15 to 30 minutes or so. Um, so the more often you do the stretch, the better you're going to be. Um, the, most important, or the, the most common mistakes people come back with is they, they have the wrong arm up. That's pretty much the only thing. And also the balance component is hard as well. But once you get the hang of it, this is a great stretch.